Well, good morning, friends. This is Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about ways that a homemaker can make money at home. This video is a collaboration with Joy from She Built Your Home, and we've done a few of these before. Uh, over the last few months or so, I've gotten to know Joy, and she is the sweetest lady ever. She is a Christian homemaker, a wife, a mom to two little boys under the age of two, so she definitely has her hands full. Joy is an extremely positive, uh, inspiring lady, and uh, she that's what she likes to do is just promote positivity for homemaking. She enjoys being frugal and helping women to be able to be full-time homemakers if that's what they desire. However, she says, we're, you know, we both have the same feeling. We're, we're all homemakers if we have a home, and putting that fun into it as well. If it's fun, it's going to get done. Anyway, so I hope that you go over and check out Joy's channel uh, when you're done here and see what kind of great ideas she has for moms to make money at home. I have been a full-time homemaker my entire life, and I have done a whole lot of things over the course of the last close to 40 years, I think, uh, as a homemaker and uh, to make extra money. It, you know, sometimes it's just a little bit, sometimes it's been more. Uh, it's just been nice sometimes to have a little bit of extra income coming in to save for something. So there are a lot of ways that you can make money from home. My biggest parameters that I had with making money at home is that while I was raising children, I didn't want to be doing anything that did not allow me to keep my husband and my children my top priority. I am going to share with you some different ideas on how you can make money from home as a homemaker. So a lot of these that I'm going to share to begin with are things that I have personally done and some of the things are things my kids have done and others are just ideas that I think would be great if you have those skills and talents. So number one to begin with is assess your your own skills and your own hobbies. What are things that you enjoy making and things that you enjoy uh, putting together, crafting together, and see if they might be items that you could sell. Items that you could sell can be sold online in places like Etsy or eBay. You could also do it locally, farmers markets. Uh, that's a great experience if you have kids. Uh, holiday bazaars and things like that. I've done that with my kids, and uh, I let I let them make their thing their items as well. So they got the experience of making something and selling something, and we did it all together. And I did that for quite a few years. So that is a great way to bring in a little bit of extra money. Some of the items that I have made and sold over the years uh, is, number one, were aprons. I started out by making aprons because I like to sew, and what homemaker doesn't need an apron? So it went together well. At the time, I had a website, The Family Homestead, and I would sell a lot of them. I would advertise for them through my website and sell them on eBay. Eventually, I just started selling them through my website and because eBay takes a pretty good chunk out of it. And I started having enough of a following that I was able to sell a lot of aprons. I sewed a lot. Of, I stayed up a lot of nights making aprons, let me tell you. Um, the other things that I have personally made and sold are soap. At the time, I was uh, raising goats. I had a lot of excess goat milk, and so I would make my own goat milk soap. And uh, I figured out how to label it and how to wrap it. And so I would make a lot of soap. Sometimes I'd have batches of, you know, 200 bars of soap at a time. So it was quite a process. I'd get up at 3 in the morning so that I could make soap before my kids got up and, and, uh, and sell it. Again, I sold that through my website. Eventually, I started a blog and had to close down my website. and would sell, But I would still sell things through my blog as well. Another really popular item that I sold, uh, again, through my website was uh, rice heating pads. So um, my sister-in-law calls them bed buddies. But these are, they were rectangular pads that I would fill with rice and, and close them all in. And then I would make a pretty cover for the outside so that that could be taken off and washed. And you just heat them in the microwave and warm up your bed uh, before you crawl in on a winter's night. So they, uh, they those sold a lot. 
Uh, I also branched out from the soap, and eventually I sold lotion, and I sold lip balm, and I sold uh, little gift baskets that would have, you know, sachets to put into your dresser drawers to make them smell nice. And uh, I even uh, went as far as doing some uh, men's shaving soap and found a wholesale where I could get the little brushes, you know, so men can could do that. And I sold a lot of that. And I sold a lot of my soap locally, too. So those are a lot of the items, some of the items that I sold over the years. So if you have a craft or a hobby that you're good at, selling your own items is a great way to bring in a little bit of extra money. So number two kind of is going to be probably more so for women that live rurally, but uh, selling your excess eggs and your extra garden starts. If you plant a garden and you may, and you plant your own garden starts, uh, that's a great way to bring in a little bit of extra money. We used to sell our extra eggs. Eventually, my daughters, who were middle teen years, 15, 16 years old, uh, they began to take it over. They bought themselves 40 hens and uh, sold, took care of them all and sold those eggs sign at the end of the driveway would bring in people they sold them my husband would take them to work and sell them uh, and our home school group there were several moms there at the home school group that would buy our extra eggs number three is writing and are you a writer do you know how feel like you have some good basic writing skills that you can put those to use and make money in fact i have a very dear friend i met her through my website years ago her name's Delyn Weller, and I'm going to leave a link because she is now actually writing books. And she writes Christian romance novels. She's written two of them, plus prior to that she wrote a little uh, devotional. Uh, another way to make m money writing is there's a lot of online uh, places that will that are looking for articles. So if you have skill in something and you want to share that skill, then you could write articles and if a company uses that or a website uses that, then they will pay you money for your article. There are also editing services out there that are looking for editors to be able to do that at home and ed edit other people's writing. I wrote several ebooks and so I have made money over the years on my ebooks and that worked very well too. Again I had a following and I would sell the recipes that were on my website. I would sell I sold ebooks on how on an ebook on how to make soap. I sold one on how to um, make whole wheat bread. I sold menus. I sold not only recipes from my website but also extra recipes that I would add into the books. And I sold books on homemaking and and how to be a better homemaker type books. And so I wrote uh, several ebooks. I haven't had them available for sale for quite a few years. I wrote them probably about. I'm going to say 2008, 9, 10, that era, and uh, they really need to be updated, and that's something that I've actually considered doing is uh, updating my ebooks and making them available again in the updated format. So that's a great way, and there are so many more options available today on writing. There's software that's free or for a nominal cost that you can get online to help you write the ebooks. There are uh, ways to convert them into Kindle books and things like that so that you can sell them online in other places as well besides just your own blog or website. And another way to make money at home by writing is ghost writing. And it usually pays better than freelance writing. You basically are writing for someone else using their writing style and you don't necessarily get credit for it. So writing can be a great way to make money at home if you have some writing skills. Another great way to make money uh, as a homemaker is teaching or tutoring. If you are good at something like math or English or anything like that, you could offer your skills for kids that are struggling with that in school or for uh, homeschoolers. Not every mother knows everything when they homeschool, so they can be often looking for tutors to be able to teach something. Do you play the piano? Do you, uh, you know, have any skills that you could offer as a teacher or tutor? Uh, my daughter did this. Uh, she was actually taught English in South Korea in the schools there for three years, and when she came back home, she just started doing the same thing, only doing it online. All right, number five is offering services 
of skills that you have that other people might need, such as cutting hair. Do you know how to cut hair? Is that something that you could do from your home? Now you do need to know whatever your state laws are. Another service that a friend of mine did from home was uh, help tax preparing uh, for people. So it, back when she did it, it was still all paper and pencil. Today with programs like uh, TurboTax and tax cuts and things like that, it's probably a lot simpler and somebody might be willing to pay to have all their stuff given to you and you run it through the program if you're good at things like that. That's another way. Another service that you could offer that seems especially common nowadays is grocery shopping services. Do you have somebody that is either too busy or maybe they're elderly or maybe they just don't like doing their own grocery shopping and they can give you the list and you can go through and get their groceries for them. You could even do it while you're doing your own grocery shopping and deliver it to them and you do that all for a fee that seems fair and worth your effort. And one last service that uh, might be something you could do, especially if you either don't have children at home or you don't have uh, a, a demanding schedule at home, you can offer your service as a housekeeper and go in and clean people's houses. I have known people to do this. It's even a great one to do if you have uh, older children that could help and then you could pay them a little bit too for assisting you while you clean people's houses. All right, so that is my lineup of five different ways that you can make money at home or as a homemaker. Obviously, some of these required you to go out of the home, but it is a way that you can bring in extra money as a homemaker. So I hope that you found some of these to be helpful. And don't forget to go over to Joy's channel at She Built Her Home and see what kind of great ideas that she has for homemakers to make money at home. Okay, friends, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.